Hi and welcome to the Intervino School of Wine. Today we're going to be looking at Cabernet Sauvignon. Cabernet Sauvignon isn't only one of the most widely planted grape varieties in the world, it's also arguably one of the greatest grape varieties. But what does it taste like? Uh, where does it come from? Let's have a look together at this wonderful grape variety. To pronounce Cabernet Sauvignon, we're going to pronounce it the French way. Cab, Air, Ne, Cabernet, Sauvignon. It's a hard one to do. It's a bit like neon. Cabernet Sauvignon. Cabernet Sauvignon originally comes from the region of Bordeaux in the southwest of France. It is the main grape variety used uh, in appellations such as Margaux, Pauillac, and Saint-Estèphe. Nowadays, however, Cabernet Sauvignon can be found absolutely all over the world, especially in the warmer, drier climates. The typical nose of Cabernet Sauvignon is going to show aromas of, of black fruit, of violet, green bell pepper. Uh, the finer wines with a bit of age are going to develop really interesting notes of cedarwood, of coffee and of eucalyptus. Cabernet Sauvignon wines are traditionally going to be solid wines. Wines with rather uh, high tannins, uh, a medium sweetness and an important acidity. This is especially true in, in Cabernet Sauvignon from the cooler climates, climates such as the Bordeaux climate. This solid structure is what gives Cabernet Sauvignon its great aging potential. Richer Cabernet wines are ideal for dark, leaner types of meat, meat such as beef or game. The wines from the cooler climates, especially those with a bit of age, are going to be splendid with richer, fattier meats. Traditionally, Medoc wine is paired with lamb, especially roasted lamb. Cabernet is also going to be beautiful with the less lean cuts of beef, such as rib of beef, especially when it's grilled. Those smoky flavors from the meat are going to be perfectly matched to the smoky aromas you get when you have an oak-aged old Cabernet. Obviously, Bordeaux and the Medoc region, to be more specific. In Bordeaux, it produces some of the world's very best and most exclusive wines. Also in Europe, Italy has been a fantastic home to Cabernet Sauvignon. This is especially true in Tuscany, where it's been the main grape variety used for super Tuscan wines. It's now also been accepted in many of uh, Tuscany's appellations or denominazione, for example, Chianti Classico. Outside of Europe, the USA and California especially produce some fantastic examples. South Africa also is home to some real serious capsules, especially in the Cape region. Australia has also been a producer of fantastic Cabernet Sauvignon. South Australia and Western Australia produce some truly world-class Cabernet Sauvignons. Also to be noted are the rise of uh, Argentina and Chile, who are starting to produce some fantastic examples. If Cabernet Sauvignon rocks your boat, I would recommend you taste Malbec, uh, which is a bit more tannic, but will have a similar type of balance. But remember, there are a lot of Cabernet Sauvignons for you to try, so you have plenty to discover before you run out of new wines to discover. Obviously, the first and second growth Bordeaux will be up there. But they're also the most exclusive wines in the world and as a result, probably the most expensive wines in the world. Chateau Margaux has to be on your list of top 10 wines to try before you die. Also in Europe, Sassicaia is a fabulous Cabernet Sauvignon dominated wine. Dominus in California Hills is also up there with the world's finest. And then there's also Penfold's Bin 707 in Australia. 
And at a much more affordable level, I'm going to include Enzo Bianchi from the Valentin Bianchi Winery in Mendoza, Argentina, which is an absolutely fabulous Cabernet Sauvignon dominated blend. I hope you've enjoyed discovering Cabernet Sauvignon. Don't hesitate to leave your comments, your questions uh, in the comment section below. Also, let us know what is it you'd like to discover? What is it you'd like to know more about? Until our next video, I wish you a wonderful time. Thank you for listening.